So while I'm waiting on new rings to get here, I'm going to balance my rods. Um, I've already checked the weight of all the pistons and uh, wrist pins, and they're all the same. So to balance the rods, I built this ghetto jig, uh, basically using some skateboard bearings that I pulled, well, rollerblade bearings that I got at the dump. And then uh, these brackets, they're just from Home Depot that I had sitting around. Um, I think they're, they're just braces. And then I cut this black bushing out of uh, Delrin, just because I had it laying around. And then just made the stand out of some scrap wood I had. Um, it only has to last for today, so it'll work. So first thing I'm going to do is go through them all and weigh the small end of the the rod um, and then see what's the heaviest, what's the lightest, and uh, grind down whatever I need to to get them all the same. Uh, it just so happens that these bearings, I know they're just standard like skateboard bearings, they are the exact size of this bore and they, they slide on perfectly but sometimes bind up if you don't put them on exact. It looks like all of these are within a gram, um, which I'm fine with. Now I'm going to zero my scale and then measure the overall of them. 626. six twenty seven. Twenty-seven, six twenty-seven. So I'm gonna say everything's good. I didn't really expect them to be out. Every they're all original rods. Um, I also weighed all of the pistons. The pistons are all the same. Um, they're OEM male, M-A-H-L-E brand ones. They are replacements. Um, I actually found they're 50 grams lighter than the original, um, the original pistons in the engine. Uh, these I got from the person that sold me the, um, the turbo and all of the components with it. Now I'm just going to put these all back together. I'm using, uh... I'm using a pin from my original engines, it's a spare, to uh, pop the circlips back in.
So the last thing I had to do was grind my rings. Um, I bought these from FCP. Uh, these are just OEM ones. And I made this jig using a Dremel. And I cut a notch in this wood. And there's a cutoff disc here. And then I found the center of this and uh, found the center of the circle and basically have to make sure that the end of this is perfectly flat with that. And then it just kind of spins on this. This is an old ring. But uh, yeah, it seemed to work, work great. I took, I only took off like a couple tenths at a time and just kept going back and forth because I, I didn't want to go too far. So once you do that, then you just need to order new new rings and try again. Uh, so this worked great. Uh, now I'm going to start assembling it. And yeah. So for my ring gap, I'm taking the piston diameter, uh, converting it to inches, and then multiplying that by 7 thou. And that's giving me 20 thou. So that's what I'm going to gap them all to. Um, well, the top ring, I'm gapping to 20. And then the bottom ring, I'm going to gap to 18. And yeah. So, now that everything's together, I'm going to start with cylinder 1. And I'm going to compress it with this uh, compressor that I got off Amazon. It uh, actually came with this ring tool, which worked out great. I'm going to lube the inside of this and lube the outside of this just a little bit and then uh, lubricate the inside of the cylinder as well so everything, everything is smooth. So now that I have my pistons in, I'm going to put in new bearings and then set in my crankshaft and check my clearances using some plastic gauge. So before I uh, check everything with the, the plastic gauge, I have to install my hardware. Um, I'm using ARP uh, main studs as well as ARP um, bolts for the connecting rods. Um, and since they're a two piece thing, with, instead of the single piece OEM, I have to install all the studs first. And it's good to make sure they're coated with the, the uh, provided assembly lubricant. Alright, with the hardware installed, next thing I'm going to do is put on a piece of plastic gauge. Right there. And then we'll tighten the bearing cap to torque. Now I'll take that apart 
and see what our gauge says. That's what you're left with. And then we'll put this gauge up against it and see what it measures. So, our clearance is supposed to be two thou max. We're at one and a half, so that's great. So I take that back. Our tolerance is between 020 and 046 millimeters, which converts to eight tenths and 23, no, two thou three tenths. So, we are right in the middle of that. So now the only thing I have left is to do the rod caps. And this is uh, these are also ARP bolts. Uh, these also need assembly lube. 